After months and months of anticipation, Jagex has finally decided to bring Torva to old school RuneScape. For anyone who didn't play in pre-EOC, Torva was the best melee armor available. It was basically Bando's version 2. It has better strength bonuses, better defense bonuses, and a brand new unique art style unlike anything else in RuneScape. I managed to get my hands on a set of this gear. It's worth about 1.5 bill. On top of all my other gear, I'm risking roughly 2 bill, and today I'm going to be running all throughout the rev caves and fighting people using this setup to show you guys how great it really is. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, here we go. We found the fight. We're fighting this guy named Damp Blanket at the northern part of the Revenant Caves. I'm in the max gear that I told you guys about before. We have Torva, we've got Ancestral Armadil, Dragon Claws, and we're even using the brand new Ancient God Sword, which we will also be testing out in this video. The guy we're fighting is in some pretty solid gear as well, so let's see how we do. Well, that's pretty disappointing, we just noodled on 65 HP off prayer. That has got to be one of the worst things that's ever happened to me on RuneScape. He came with the best gear on release and dying your first fight for 2 bill. I had like 1000 people watching this on Twitch. I can't even begin to tell you how bad my chat was roasting me but that's the name of the game i love pvp and part of pvp is dying so we're gonna buy another set and we're gonna head back up all right after a couple minutes of re-gearing i ended up rebuying the exact same setup that i died for in the clip previously and by now everyone in their mother is in my twitch chat begging me to do fights i mean i really just look like the freest two bill ever and to be fair i kind of was so i'm gonna be sitting up at the revenant cave entrance and just fighting anybody that i can get my hands on as long as they're risking i'm gonna try my best to take them out and we're going to be using this gear to do it. Alright, there we go. We got our first kill. We ended up getting this guy through prayer for 32 mil worth of gear using the Ancient God Sword spec. And, well, I don't know, probably about 75, maybe 80 more of those, and I'll be completely rebuilt to what I died for previously. Another person that wanted to fight me was someone by the name of Hot Dog McGee. He came up quite a few times, and we fought several times throughout this video. This time in particular was our first fight, and he actually came up in some pretty solid risk. The Torvik came through, we got a massive Dragon Claw spec, pretty much a max spec using the gear that I'm in, and we ended up getting about 35 mil from Hot Dog McGee, that's looking pretty nice in the looting bag. Hot Dog McGee wanted to do a rematch, and when I tell you guys that there was like a lineup of people waiting to fight me, I'm literally not kidding, but since I just killed this guy, I decided I'd give him a rematch just to give him an opportunity to make his money back.
some pretty solid RNG just landed us another 35 mil kill. And as you guys can see, I'm literally getting hunted on every angle. There's people waiting in every single world. And this guy here even tried to PJ me. Luckily for me, this guy sucks. I had a lot of food left over. And of course, I made it out safely. All right, here we go. We ended up getting another fight at the Revenant Cave entrance. And this guy's actually risking some decent loot. I believe he's in like something around 100 mil. He's got the Wyvern Shield. He's got the Dragonfire Ward. And of course, I'm obviously going to be going for the people risking as much as possible. Since I'm in 2 bill, I'm not really trying to fight people in Mystic or like 10 mil Aram sets. If you're going to try and get a title shot, you got to bring something to the table. Finally, we locked down and secured a big kill. We got about 82 mil from that. Not quite the 100 mil that I was expecting, but I'm still happy about that. That's pretty much the same value as the first three kills put together, minus maybe like 10 mil or something like that. Hot Dog McGee wanted to do another fight with me, but this time I told him that if he wanted to do a fight, he's got to upgrade the gear a little bit. 35 mil wasn't cutting it, so we came back up in some Ancestral and we fought once again at the northern part of the Revenant Caves. And that, my friends, is one of the best tactics for RuneScape PvP. Using the element of surprise during your opponent's period of momentum to gain an edge and ultimately take them down. If you guys don't recall, in the first clip when I died for Torva, that's exactly what happened. I had Smite on because I was damaging my opponent so heavily, and right when I least expected it, he pulled off an AGS spec on really low HP. Basically the same thing here, I saw an opportunity, and I took it. To my surprise, Hot Dog actually wanted to fight again even after that last kill. He wasn't too happy about his performance, and he decided that he wanted another shot at the title. So I told him, gear back up in the same gear, and we can run it for the fourth time. He ended up coming back up, and this time, the fight took a little bit of a different direction.
There we go. We ended up taking Hot Dog Mickey out for another Ancestral set, but unfortunately for me, as I was looting this kill, a gigantic clan logged in, TB'd me, and now I have to make a decision. Do I try and get away with the gear that I have, or do I try and loot this kill and make a break for it? To be greedy or to not be greedy, you will find out in just a moment. That has got to be one of my most lucky escapes of all time. I've tanked a lot of teams and I've done a lot of crazy stuff, but that there really takes the cake. 2 to 2.5 bill in my inventory. I had another max kill with me as well, and we still managed to get away. Both of those guys didn't have the agility level to access the shortcut, which means that I got a swift escape and I logged out on about 30 HP in, yeah, like, Two bill plus risk. Since I didn't get to loot everything from that kill, I tried to figure out what ended up happening to it, and Hot Dog actually told me that he ran back and picked everything up on his own. When I asked him for the gear back, considering I did kill him fair and square, he basically told me to suck his chach. So I was a little bit annoyed. I told him, hey, thanks for the 400 mil then at least, and he asked me to do yet again another rematch. Obviously, my last kill didn't really count value wise. I did make like 60 or 70 mil, but overall, he had over half of the gear still. So I wanted to try and get that off him once again, and this is how the fight played out. Like I said earlier, you win some, you lose some, and today, we definitely lost some. Two Torva sets down the drain, we lost about 4 bill at the Revenant Caves, and there is absolutely no such thing as karma in RuneScape. But honestly, I had a lot of fun, so does it even really count? If you're wondering what happened after I ended up dying from my second Torva set, I ended up going and doing some death matches and lost the remaining 5 bill in my bank. Kind of a bad day, 
to say the least. But as long as you guys got some entertainment out of this video, that's all that really matters. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to check out all the links down below in the description. Follow me on Twitch. I live stream every single day. Come and watch me rebuild, and I hope to see you guys in there.